Hi everyone, welcome back. Here is the latest update about the public case study website. I just completed the replacing all the images on the site uh, as I just mentioned in the last video. If you are watching this video very first time, uh, this is part of series of videos I am creating as part of public case study. The quick background is I purchased a site, uh, a starter niche site about two months back, about three months back. Uh, in the month of December to be precise and I have been recording uh, all the changes that I have been making on this particular site and uploading into a playlist if you have not yet watched any of those videos please go and check it out so if you see there are several activities that are marked in green here all these are done and there are videos already uh, uploaded in the playlist related to each of this point now we are at uh, point number te 10 in the last uh, video I did mention that I completed the site-wide preliminary audit that means a one round of quick check of all the blog posts and I deleted some of the blogs and made some changes minor changes to other posts and also I wanted to replace all the images just to ensure that there is no any kind of a copyright violation I am just done with this so I can mark this particular point as uh, uh, green this is also done now the next point as per this is uh, sitemap submission but I am just holding this because currently uh, it's uh, the site is using uh, Yoast plugin which creates the sitemap. My intent objective is to remove that particular plugin and then go for a light uh, sitemap plugin but that's not a priority item so I'm holding that. And then next item now is to go for AdSense uh, or Ajoic. One of these I uh, need to apply to uh, for one of these uh, uh, these ad markets. So let's have a look at the quick website. After all the changes are done, and if you can see here the number of posts. Uh, now there are uh, 70 posts are there. If you remember in the last video, I did show you 71 articles. Uh, then while doing the final review while updating the, the images and all that I felt like there is one more article that is not really adding lot of value so I even deleted that particular article also currently the site has about 70 articles so here is the home page so probably I can actually now bring in the images earlier I was um, actually uh, I made the change to show image in the background the reason is the each of the image was of different dimension so now almost all the images are of uh, same dimension so I can actually go with the standard format of showing the image and then uh, the text. So let's see if uh, that can be done. Where it is, uh, this is the post grid block and then uh, there must be somewhere image or yeah here it is the image and uh, this should be yeah it is in the background you can see here image position is background currently i want to put it on top this is fine and then go to typography and let's look at the font it is uh, 30 probably you may not need this one 20 we'll go with 26 and then for uh, tab typography how much it is for for tab you we can go with 24 and uh, for mobile let's look at for the mobile where is the typography yeah mobile there is 30 we don't need uh, this much we can actually go with 22 for mobile yeah this should be fine let's do a quick preview now it should look uniform because we replaced all the images here it is now you can see here earlier what used to happen is because uh, each of the the feature image was of a different dimension uh, these were not looking uniform and were not looking good now because I replaced all the images with the standard dimensions if everything is looking fine I will actually update this so we can actually go with this particular format uh, there is no much lot of uh, benefit by uh, with this particular design as such this is just a personal preference from the rankings or SEO point of view this uh, the changing of this these designs will not impact much uh, some few people actually like the earlier uh, uh, presentation and some people like this my personal preference is go to go with this kind of a standard uh, representation 
so that's about it we are done with this so next step is um, to go with either ejoic or uh, adsense so there, there was a question I, a couple of people actually asked me on uh, uh, on youtube uh, why should i go for adsense instead of uh, ejoic why not to ejoic um, so here is the i did not answer to those questions i normally respond to most of the questions but for these two this specific question i did not answer I did not reply the reason is I wanted to um, cover that particular topic in, in this particular video um, both are perfectly fine you can go with AdSense and you, or you can actually go with uh, Ejoic both are perfectly fine but um, normally when I build a site from scratch I normally go with Ejoic because I know that uh, from uh, starting point itself i have taken care of all the foundational uh, things like um, images like content uh, plagiarism related issues and then keyword competition and ensuring there is no scrape com content scraping and all that so i'm very confident that uh, site will go through if there is some kind of a traffic on the site that's why i normally go for ejoic if you remember site number four i directly went to ejoic and site number three i directly went to ejoic and uh, site number six i directly went to ejoic but when i purchase a site i normally prefer first to go to adsense because however i clean up i still i'm still not 100 percent sure if, uh, if the site is 100 percent clean there may be here and there some kind of a uh, maybe there is a progressive problem there is a some there are some images problem and all that we don't know exactly See, if you apply directly to Ejoic, if site gets rejected in Ejoic, then um, again getting reapplied and getting approval is slightly difficult here because uh, there are they, they go through some stringent process. But whereas in AdSense, there is a the process is automated. So in case if a site gets rejected, you will immediately get the notification. Probably I can quickly look at some of the pages and then delete them, then reapply again. I can do that multiple times in the, in case of AdSense. There is no um, uh, any any specific process that uh, says that you can't apply for AdSense so many times. Whereas in Ejoic, of course, technically there is no any rule as such that I can't apply for Ejoic. But you know because uh, there probably the teams and manpower is limited. I'm sure. I think if you apply. Uh, multiple times it may actually not uh, go through they may actually say tell you that not to apply for um, again maybe for maybe next four months six months and all that i haven't had so such experience so far but i have a strong feeling that that may be the case because uh, there is limited team for ejoic but adsense it is more like an automated process uh, so i believe i can actually ensure that site is clean before actually going for a joy this is the main reason so first i will go with adsense once it gets approved probably i will give you maybe a couple of weeks of time or maybe a three four, four weeks of time then i will apply for a joy that's the reason why i am going for adsense so that's about it that's the next step going uh, to apply for adsense and see how it goes let's see here floor mat uh, review.com let me add the site to adsense this is the adsense panel save and continue oh, once i add it so there is a code here you can see copy this particular code and then go to the website there is a settings uh, insert headers and uh, footers So just uh, add this particular code here. Place this code on every page. So what happens is if you uh, paste this particular code on in the head headers and footers file, especially on the script in the header, then this particular code will be uh, reflected in every page. If you see this particular AdSense uh, instruction here, what they ask you is uh, go and place this particular code on every page. Uh, that you want to show ads so physically going and uh, adding this particular code on every page is difficult that's why i use this particular plugin uh, so just add it once on the header it will it, it will automatically reflect on every page so this is done then let's uh, save this uh, yeah we are done with this now let me request for a review
please it will take few days yes i think uh, we are done with this that's about it so let's wait and see uh, wait and watch maybe it, sometimes it may actually uh, get through in few days or sometime it may take a week or so i will anyway keep you posted that's about it so we are done with uh, all these up to step number uh, step number 10 and also we are done with step number 12 so this is in i will put it uh, in a different color so this is in progress now i once as soon as i hear from google about uh, further status on my adsense application i will uh, update you those are the details I just wanted to share with all of you. If you have any questions, please do ask in the comment section. Thanks. Bye.